What's going on guys? We have four days until the hype train hits its final destination and we arrive at the motherfucking sun. Dudes, there's a lot to talk about, but in today's video we're going to be addressing the top five expectations that most people have for the Smash Brothers final announcement, I call it the final destination, coming up on the 15th Tuesday. Now one thing you have to keep in mind here is that while these are expectations and they do have a chance slightly of being more possible than random other ideas, still at the same time, these are all just speculations. So you shouldn't go in there thinking that these things are definitely going to happen. Having expectations that you truly believe in and having them crushed kind of sucks. So don't go in there thinking that what you know or what this video says is guaranteed because nothing truly is with Daddy Sakurai. We should all know this by now. So make sure you hype responsibly and don't set yourself up to get your ass put into a sad state, okay? Starting things off, we have Cloud. Now, the announcement, when it was put up on Twitter, it actually stated specifically that we would be getting more details about him. He's in the fifth slot, but not because he's the least exciting announcement, but just because we know everything about him. So the information that we're looking forward to is his date. Considering Cloud is basically complete, we can expect a release date for sure. But when is the true question? It's been almost a month since his reveal, and with his release labeled as to be announced on the Smash Brothers website, most of us are hoping for a same day launch since we've already waited a bit for him. Keep your goddamn fingers crossed. Next up is me characters, or me costumes. Now, Mii's are a little bit controversial because a lot of people seem to feel like a Mii costume automatically deconfirms that character as being playable in the future. However, whatever the hell your stance may be in terms of Mii's and characters, what can't be denied is that they add a really fun level of personalization to your me, customization in a way. On top of everything else, they pay a lot of homage to these amazing series that Smash Brothers wants to incorporate with itself. Similar to how the trophies and assist trophies are a way for a series to get recognition in Smash, I feel like the me costumes are definitely one of those. Sakurai usually reveals a ton of these during the big Smash broadcast, and we've already seen the Chocobo costume, so imagine what else is in store for that final announcement. I feel like we can definitely expect at least one more Mii costume along with the Chocobo outfit, but that's just me being modest with my predictions. I feel like potentially, if things are really hyped, we could get maybe three or four. But if we only get one more, I'll be happy. Number three is definitely new stages. Now, it warmed everyone's heart to see Daddy Sakurai bring back old favorites like Dreamland from N64 onto the Wii U version. And the 3DS version too. So hopefully this time around, we can expect more classic stages, um, potentially maybe ones like Yoshi's Story and um, Fountain of Dreams, per se. Everyone loves those stages. But of course, not only has Daddy Sakurai done well in bringing back those old stages, but he's done a really amazing job on the new ones too. The Mario Maker stage is definitely one of my favorites. And even though it isn't tournament legal, it's a blast to play on. People love that stage. And of course, the Midgar, AKA Shinra Power Plant level, in Cloud's DLC package is looking amazing right now. It's definitely ain't legal, as Shofu pointed out, but I mean, still, the level looks amazing. The background entities are awesome. You know, the stage hazards, everything about that level is awesome. So we're hoping and praying that we potentially get one more level. Now, in terms of the levels that we might get, they may correspond to new characters. Now, we all expected this. You know this is definitely going to be high up on the list. In terms of our expectations, like I mentioned earlier, we shouldn't go in there thinking that we're going to get four characters off the bat. I don't think that's realistic, but we can definitely expect at least one more newcomer. The Smash Ballot is definitely in order, and we all know who the favorites are from that. We have King K. Rule, we have Shantae, and we got Shovel Knight. Those three are really highly pushed when it comes to the fan votes, so maybe we can expect one of those guys in the game. I don't want to get your expectations too high up, but I think it's got to be one of them. That's my personal opinion, though. I'm not sure where you guys stand with it. We also have the wild cards, so let's not forget Sora from Kingdom Hearts and somebody else, and I'm not even going to mention. We have to consider that this is the grand finale for the Smash Brothers broadcast. Daddy Sakurai is going to end this thing with a bang. So when it comes to the characters and the amount that he'll put in, I say we need to prepare ourselves to be surprised. One way or another, this is going to come to a massive explosive ending and I can't wait for it. You know at the same time, that's kind of what makes this situation sad because this is the end of the major Smash Brothers broadcast. Nintendo specifically said that we would not get any more Smash centralized broadcast after this one. Does this truly mean that the hype train has come to a complete stop? No, because, you know, Smash Brothers can also be mentioned in directs in the future, and maybe it won't have its own dedicated broadcast over again, but it can also get little updates and patches here and there. But let's not forget what Sakurai said, which is a news article that I covered at some point. 
he doesn't want to work on this game forever. The team has other projects to work on, there's other things, other endeavors, and in general, he doesn't want to keep the development on this going on for too long. Like he said beforehand, too many patches and all that, and it just becomes a burden. So understandably, this will probably be the end of the major Smash Brothers news at this point. As melancholy as it all may be, we still have a game that will outlive time at this point. Now, the scary thing is that this might be Sakurai's last Smash game on top of it all. But if this was, then god damn, there is no way in hell that he left us with a small title. Because this game is easily one of the best games ever made, no doubt about it. The content that we got from this game has been legendary, and the craziest part is that Daddy Sakurai is nowhere near finished yet. You know, you've definitely treated us really well, Daddy Sakurai, and after everything that you've done, you definitely deserve a long rest with it. We really do appreciate it, and thank you. Guys, that's been my top five expectations for the Smash Brothers final announcement. If you agree with me or disagree with me, you gotta let me know in the comments. I know sometimes I have a tendency to say some controversial stuff, but it's fun at the end of the day. And I know I said don't go too crazy with your hype, don't get too crazy with your expectations, but the only reason I say that is because there's a bunch of whiny bitches that when they don't see something that they want in a direct or a broadcast or anything, they start to complain about it. I think that's the wrong way to approach this. No matter what the hell we're given in this final announcement, I will be happy off my ass. Whether we get one character, five characters, or zero characters, as long as we get something like Cloud, I'm fine with it, you know? To me, Sakurai has already outdone himself. And I feel like at this point now, everything's just extra, 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 so I'm already good. But what about you guys? What do you think? I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.